Next race up is TKM Extreme. The championship leader joins me. I say the championship leader, Adam Sparrow. Can you believe you still got the championship lead after all that drama at uh, Shellington? Well, it was a very difficult round for us. Um, we had a brake grinding issue during the whole weekend, which was massive, massive unlucky. Um, and we didn't fix it until the second final where I made up a load of places. Unfortunately for Sam, he lost the championship lead with, I think it was a fuel pipe issue. But in the first place, what put us down that far down was uh, the brake binding issue. And if we wouldn't have had that, we could have been maybe even had a bigger lead in the championship. Yeah, but I suppose so. You had a technical issue. He had a technical issue. You came out on top in the end. So uh, Rissington today, I'm not sure how you like this track, particularly in what looks like is going to be torrential rain potentially <laughs> today. Yeah, I've always loved this track. because It's always been one of my personal favourites. I've always been quick round here last year. I think one three of the full races. Uh, this year, I've paces look good, but in the rain, not too sure. But I, the advantage of that is it might spread out the field a lot nicer and uh, I have a lot more room to play with. So. Okay, well, good luck today. Thank you. The interview curse has hit Adam Sparrow. His wheel has fallen off on the formation lap. There he is. Oh, my goodness me, the championship leader is out before it starts. Those are the grid positions for TKM Extreme with Pete Newman on pole. That's going to be an interesting conversation between Adam Sparrow and his mechanic after the race. His mechanic being his dad. His dad will be, I don't know what happened, son. Adam will be, I'll tell you what happened, dad. You didn't tighten the wheel up. It's as simple as that. I'm sure I did. No, dad, I can assure you, you didn't. It fell off. We're out of the championship lead. He's going to drop to something like ninth in the championship. We're underway and running, and then Pete Newman has held on to the lead. Looks like Gavin Pitts running into the back of Joseph Reece Smith. More of a kiss than a full on snog, to be fair. And Reece Smith is still there in second, so no damage done. Well, not to him anyway. There may be some damage to Gavin Pitts from those cones. And Pitts lost, what, four or five places? There he is on the 14 cart. Just lost a few places since the start of the race. Down to the dog leg for the first time. Joseph Reeves Smith. I'm just looking at the championship points there. Joseph Reeves Smith is going to be the championship leader as they go through the line. I'm pretty certain. I'm, I'm just trying to work it out in my mind. He's going to have a decent championship lead as well. So it's the E plate that has the lead, Pete Newman. Louis Bevan is going to get a 10 second penalty after the race because Adam Sparrow's wheel has come off his cart, rolled across the grass, and apparently it's hit Louis Bevan on the formation lap, knocked his nose fairing in. He'll get a 10 second penalty because there are no appeals, even though apparently one of the marshals has actually seen what's happened. Oh my goodness, Rob Wellham is second, Carl Sproke just seen pictured is in third place. Joseph Reeves Smith there on the 90 and fourth is the new championship leader, as you can see from the championship points top of your screen. All of the drivers in the top five have, have moved up in the championship, hence why they're all shown there in green, because of course Adam Sparrow, as I understand it, has dropped from first to ninth in the championship because his wheels come off on the formation lap. Oh my goodness, there's a confirmation. He's dropped a ninth after the DNF on the formation lap. And Joseph Reeves Smith, new championship leader, he came into the round in sixth place in the championship. That shows you how competitive this field is this year. This will go right to the last round. Whatever happens here at a Gladigors Park, it will go to the last round because there are so many people in contention. It's absolutely unbelievable. Just had a look there at Joe Farrell on the 31 in the midfield. Joe was the championship leader after the first round, but he's today was just made a place up there, just moved up to 17th uh, place. I'm not sure how many championship leaders we've had this year so far, but uh, it's a number of them. It probably could be a record in this championship so far. It seems to be changing all the time. But it was Sam Fowler who was unlucky uh, at uh, Shellington. He had a 22-point championship lead uh, during the race before he DNF with a mechanical failure. His fuel pipe dragging on the ground. This weekend, 
is Adam Sparrow's turn, who was lucky last time to hold on to the championship lead. This time, extremely unlucky. As we have a look at uh, Owen Russell on the 53, going through the picture. There he is, 53, with uh, Lee Whittingham on the nine cart, just in behind him. They're battling over six and seventh. Now, uh, yeah, I say unlucky, but of course, uh, as Alan Turney once said, quite famously, as Whittingham goes through on Russell, makes the move up to sixth place for Whittingham. As Alan Turney once famously said, when somebody's wheel fell off many, many moons ago, I think some serious mechanicing needs to be going on on that cart. Mr Sparrow, take note. The reason I know how the conversation between Adam Sparrow and his dad's going to go is because, well, frankly, I've had that conversation with my son many moons ago. I don't know what happened, son. You didn't tighten the wheel up, Dad. That's what happened. No, I'm sure I did. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't. Anyway, give me some money or an ice cream. That's pretty much how the conversation went. Pete Newman out front, and a uh, nice lead he has at the moment, just under a second from Rob Wellham. Rob Wellham, by the way, second in the championship. On 7.91, Reeve Smith has got a decent championship lead at this stage, looking at the uh, positions there and how close it is between all the drivers, but it can easily turn around, as we've seen already. Sam Fowler had a 22-point championship lead at uh, Shevington before he had the mechanical failure. Rob Wellham, though, had Rob Wellham down as the championship favourite for junior TKM this year. He might win TKM Extreme. Remarkable. Newman goes through the line in front from Wellham, Sproke, Reece Smith, Gary Pitts in fifth place from Whittingham, Rosser, Samuel Johns, Nathan Wells in ninth, Lewis Wadley rounds out the top ten, Sam Fowler, previous championship leader at Shellington, he goes through in eleventh place, his brother Joe well down behind him, uh, Stockford, Briley, Harry Moore, the champion a couple of years ago, is not having the best of days, he's there in fourteenth place, as we look at this battle between Whittingham, Rosser and Johns down to the dog leg, Here's the midfielders all coming through. Places being made up in the midfield. Pick out your favourite drivers. That's the race leader from Wellham Sproke, Reece Smith, Pitt. Then uh, Whittingham, Rosser and Johns. Uh, Wells, Wadley and Fowler. Joe Stockford goes through. The British Open champion won that title at the TKM Festival. Uh, Joe goes through in 12th place. He's a former winner here at, at the Super 1 British Championships at Glanning Horse Park than he was last year. That's Harry Moore on the forecart. Not having the best day, Harry Moore. He'll go through as he was in 14th place. He's still in 14th place as he goes through the line. So the gap between Newman and Wellham, 0.6 of a second, and going through for a spot. The 20 is, that's a great battle, by the way, as Carl Sproke goes up the inside of Wellham, and Wellham gets him on the switchback, having none of that. Rob Wellham trying to hold on to second. Looks like Josh Sheriff there putting their move on. Amy Duke, uh, they're battling down the field, that's for 24th place, looks like Sheriff has got that done, and Pete Newman, the race leader, is out of the race, out of shot of the cameras, the through bottom bend, Newman is out, not sure what problem he's had, I think it's a mechanical, as Carl Sproat now goes through to the lead, that would have been second, but not now, it's for the lead, and that is Newman pulling his car away, so he's not putting it back on the track, he's not gone off, it must be a mechanical for the race leader, what a, an absolute signaller, for Pete Newman, the English champion, here at the British Carding Championships, looking all day like he was going to romp away to the victory, but not now. Carl Sproat has inherited the lead, got past Wellham, and has already put seven tenths of a second on him. Oh, what drama here, yet again, at the British Championships. I think you can see him standing in the background with the marshal there, Pete Newman. Absolutely gutted, and why wouldn't you be? It's Sproke from Wellham, Reece Smith. That will actually give Reece Smith more championship points, but it doesn't really matter because uh, Wellham in front of him and Sproke also score more points uh, themselves, two extra points, because they both move up a place. So it's uh, Joseph Reece Smith then coming into this round in sixth place. Let me, let me just repeat that. In sixth place, he came in. He's going to go out of this race if things stay as they are with a decent championship lead, a 26-point championship lead. See what I did there? I did that in my head. That was mathematics. 791 from 817. Yeah, that's 26 points. All my own work, I did it there. But look how close it is between Wellham, 791. Sproul and Fowler now tied on 785. And Witten now is on 781. He's actually dropped places in the championship. That's why he's in red. 
but uh, don't rule Chris Witten out from this championship. Any one of the top five can still win this with two rounds to go. This is going to the final round. We could go to the final lap of the final round. That's how close this championship is. I love TKM, it's such a fantastic class, both in the junior and senior TKM extreme varieties. It's always close racing, as the drivers will tell you, and that's uh, why a lot of them do it. They pick this class. Carl Spro out front after nine laps gone by seven tenths of a second, and he probably didn't see that coming when Pete Newman, the E-plate, was himself something like seven or eight tenths of a second out front and looking like he was going to dominate and just clear off. Not to be, though. Pete Newman out of the race. And you can see his name on screen there, down in 33rd place. Have a look at the movers. Chris Witten's on the move, by the way. He's now in 15th, starting P31. So Witten on the move. Max Goldsmith on the 66 card up to 19th. He started P29, so he's made up 10. And as, as has uh, Luke Ogden, in fact, who's also made up 10, starting P30, he's in 20th. So plenty of drivers uh, on the move. James Pasley's also made up 10 places. So 10 needs seems to be the favourite number of everybody this weekend. Uh, James uh, Pashley started P33. He was up to 23rd place. He's actually now up to 22nd place. So he's now made up 11. Witten still made up 17, though. He's the prime mover on the day, and that is what's helped him get back into the top five. He's got well outside the top five for Chris Witten but he's back in contention now, so we saw the free car Sam Fowler just going through the picture trying to make moves. Sam Johns, meantime, has made a move. So uh, Sam Johns then up to what's that, uh, seventh place, dropped Owen Rosser down one. So we're just over two minutes on the clock. Is the race leader coming under pressure from Rob Wellham? He certainly is. Wellham is closer than he was. He's six tenths of a second behind as he went through the line that time. That is Joseph Reeves-Smith on the 90. He'll be pinching himself and buying plenty of lottery tickets on the way home. That's uh, no doubt about it whatsoever. That's Zach Bowen going up the inside of the Oak Plate Stockford. So uh, Zach Bowen goes by and uh, moves up a place. I think that's her 14th place. Bowen on the British Open champion. 9 is Whittingham, 30 Wells, 27 is Sam Johns. Looks like Sam Fowler's made a move on Owen Rosser. He has indeed. So you should see that place change. They go through the sector. It does. Sam Fowler up to 8th. And then comes uh, Russell Wadley. Joe Fowler's up to 11th place, by the way. And uh, Chris Whitten now up to uh, 18 places, I believe it is. Where is he? Let's uh, look for him. There he is on the 7. That is Chris Whitten. He's up to 11th place now. So uh, Chris Whitten up to 11th, I make that 20 places for the seven car. That's a great effort by Chris Whitten, who's uh, recovering positions in the championship. And as you can see in the championship points, he's now back into third place. And that is where he started uh, the championship at the beginning of this race. So he's lost a load of places, made them back. And Whitten back into third place in the championship. Great effort. Under a minute left on the clock. So it is still Sproker leads from Wellham. Joseph Reeves-Smith, Gavin Pitt, just 2.93 seconds between the, the front four. So it's still all to play for, it's not over yet. There'll be a couple of laps remaining as they all come through the line this time. It's uh, Nathan Wells battling Lee Whittingham in behind. And Wells slides wide, big, big slide for Wells. That allows Lee Whittingham to get that much closer. Sam Johns will have seen that as well in behind. And then Sam Fowler in behind them. He's on the three cart, so this is a four-way battle here for basically fifth place in the race. As they go down to the dog leg, they're too far behind the cart in front, who is uh, Gavin Pitt. There is Gavin Pitt on the 14. So here comes up battle five, six, seven and eight. And Sam Fowler goes by. So Fowler goes by Johns and Fowler now up to seventh place, trying to rescue some extra championship points, some extra championship muller for Sam Fowler. They're all trying to score as many points as they can, of course, to try and keep this championship alive. He's very much alive, although I have to say 26 points for Joseph Rees-Smith. We know it could all go pear-shaped like it did for Sam Fowler last time. 
but that is a very handy lead going to the final two rounds of the championship in what is a very tight championship. This is the battle for the lead though as Chris Whitten puts in the fastest lap. Not surprisingly, where is he? He's up, he's still there in 11th place, Chris Whitten. So he's he made up 21 places. In fact, uh, 20 places, I beg your pardon. And that could be 21 because he's not far behind the man in front of him, just a tenth of a second. Can he make that back? We're into the left-hander for the last time, up to the final term, and it is Carl Sproat that takes the win then. Carl Sproat takes the win from Rob Wellham. Joseph Rees-Smith through for third place. Gavin Pitt fourth. It is uh, Nathan Wells for fifth. Whittingham. It's Johns from Sam Fowler, Owen Rosser, and Chris Whitten up to 10th place. So he makes up 21 places in the end. We'll see if there is any nose faring penalties. There were. Cart 14. Gavin Pitt, 10 seconds, drops from 4th to 13th. Chris Whitten gets the pixie dust for 22 places made up. So, Carl, little birdie tells me you were just managing it at the front. Is that right? I think I had a bit more in reserve. I think. I was happy with the gap. I think it could have gone a bit quicker. I mean, fair play to Rob, he was pushing hard to come back at us. When I was behind him, we caught up toward, we'd started catching Pete before he unfortunately had his mechanical issue. And I sort of went past him that lap, got a bit of a gap at the start, made a little bit of a mistake and had to push to get the gap again, but sort of managing it a little bit from then. I think I could have had a, gone a bit faster if I'd have needed to, but luckily we didn't need to do that. So, yeah, I think it's... Excellent for Litchfield Motorsport. I mean, we've got three on the bounce now with Joe winning last time and us winning at Rowra. So I've got to thank them because the cart was amazing in the wet. I probably didn't do it enough justice in the dry on qualifying and had to struggle through starting 14th in the pre-final. So I've got to say a massive credit to Dave, Jono, down at Litchfield Motorsport and roll on GYG. Hopefully it'll rain again. Well, let's hope not. The cameraman certainly hope not. Uh, Joseph Rees Smith takes a 26 point championship lead forward to Glanigorse Park, but don't rule out Wellham Whitton, Fowler, and Sproke for the championship. It's still all to play for. Coming next, we're at Glanigorse Park in North Wales. And if you're a driver in the Mini X30 class, the greatest trophy in world motorsport is up for grabs. That's right, the only remaining Dragon Masters trophy is up for grabs at Glanigorse Park. If you're in Mini X30, make sure you enter. <laughs> 